What's going on? Welcome to another video here on my YouTube channel. I've been creating online courses back in the day when people were still frowning on me and, and not sure how exactly online courses worked. Uh, so that's about like five or six years ago. That's when I created my first course. I today actually make my full-time living from courses. There's other things in my portfolio of how I earn money. Uh, there's other things in there, but online courses are like a really big part of that portfolio. And uh, I've sold about plus 30,000 online courses over these last few years. And I wanted to make a video actually where I was going to talk a bit more about online courses and share my top three reasons why I would say that almost anyone could benefit from creating an online course. And then I also want to actually dig into some often asked questions that I've gotten from people who were just curious about online courses or who were interested in creating one, but were like drawn back by a couple of things. So the first thing in the list of top three reasons is, uh, well, a very obvious one, I think that most people will already know. Passive income is, um, well, it's, it's a topic that is very, a lot of people are interested in that, right? However, I do have to say that passive income is only true to a certain degree, right? You have to work actively on creating the course first, right? Before you can get the passive income from it. And even then, there is still some promoting and marketing involved uh, to get the passive income, right? But I, if I would take uh, a couple of months off, I would have a consistent amount of money coming in, you know, from those courses, which is, ex that's passive income, right? However, if I uh, do want to increase the income a bit more, then, Promoting and marketing the courses more will also help to make me earn even more from them. And that's more of an active part of the passive income. Out of this list, actually, earning passive income to me would be the least interesting one. But this is for sure, out of this list, uh, something that a lot of people could benefit from and will be very interested in to, to just have that kind of stream of income in their portfolio of ways of earning money. Creating an online course, uh, if you create it on a marketplace like Udemy or Skillshare, those are very popular marketplaces, you can create in your bio, your websites, a little bit about yourself, right? And also uh, links to your social media pages. That way, you know, because marketplaces, they will for you market your courses, which is not to say that you can't market also your courses, right? To even increase your revenue more. But you will get organically students enrolling in your courses, right? And these students will then maybe check out your bio and may check out your website, may check out your social media pages and may follow you. This has for me increased my followers uh, quite a lot actually on my social media pages and on my YouTube channel, for example. And that's a funnel in a way, right? The online courses can serve as a funnel for, for other people to discover who you are and maybe any other services or products that you offer. So again, that's another reason why a lot of people could benefit from creating an online course to help build their community or to help increase their followers. This is a quote, I don't know by who, and I'm paraphrasing. The best way to truly master something, or the best way to know that you truly understand something, is to teach it to other people. And that's exactly what you're doing with a course. That's exactly what you're doing with that. When you are in the process of creating the course, you have to do research, you have to write out course material, you have to make it a complex topic, uh, understandable, and you got to make it digestible for your students. You got to work out maybe some exercises. That's what I always do with each course. I create a PDF file, a workbook with exercises for students to do. Uh, you got to you gotta go through the whole that whole process, right? And then finally, you got to teach it. You got to explain it. <laughs> like I'm doing to you right now, uh, to a camera, 
to a student viewing, that whole process will increase your, I mean, that's what I have experienced with each course that I've created, that my knowledge on that topic just increased so much more, so much more. And as an example, I created, and this was actually my uh, most recent course that I've created, uh, and that was a course on cognitive behavioral therapy, uh, CBT. So it's a therapy, because um, I'm a therapist and a coach, and it's one that I also practice 101 with, with clients. I wanted to create a course that was easy to follow for students, where I explained step by step a whole bunch of techniques and tools to work through their past to work through problems things that they're struggling with core beliefs that they believe about themselves others or the world that are unhealthy or obstacles you know that they're facing from their pasts and are still experiencing today taking those months when i was creating that course to write everything out i really felt my own knowledge uh, in uh, cognitive behavioral therapy increase so much. And that, to me, would be the number one thing that I would also recommend you to focus on. And the reason why is because you will focus so much more on putting actual care and effort in creating this course. Creating a course, or that's what I believe, right, should come from a warm place. What I mean with that is just from a, from a place where you truly want to teach something some, to someone that you want to provide knowledge on, that you want to help someone with, that you want to see someone just uh, experience more in their life. I care a lot about online courses and creating good quality courses. Focus less on the passive income and the followers. They will, they will, they will come. That, that will be there. If you focus on number three, if you put number three actually at number one. Now, let me dig into the actual often asked questions that I've received over these last few years and answer them. Everyone has something that they're passionate about, something that they care a lot about. That could be the perfect topic to teach something on, just the passion, something that you're really passionate about. Because there's people out there in the world who don't know as much as you know about that topic that are looking to learn more about it. So that is the topic to teach something on. And let me go to the second question that often uh, is, is asked after this question. You don't actually have to be a master. Like, sure, if you are, then great, right? That's, that's awesome. But you don't have to be a, a master. What you have to be is better than most people. That's what I would say. That's what I would say will be the minimum requirement. But don't be stopped by being completely perfect. That's what a lot of people actually, I think, are stopped by with many things, <laughs> right? You can become better or even better at that topic or at that skill while also going through this process of creating a course. Exactly as what I was talking about actually in the top three reasons. You will improve your skill and your knowledge even more while going through this process. So don't be stopped by not being a master. If you even can allocate 30 minutes, 30 minutes every day to work on your course, eventually you will have a finished course. This is exactly what actually I did. I didn't work full time on it. I worked a couple of hours on it every day or even just an hour on it every day for for a whole process of a couple of months. And if you don't have an hour, then take half an hour. Take half an hour. And if you don't have half an hour, take 50 minutes to work on your course. But if you do that every day, eventually you will have a finished product. You will have a finished course to put online. This is like a thing that people ask about anything, you know, with YouTube as well. If you're starting to starting today, people, or if you want to start today, people would also be like, yeah, but is it not too late already? Like, aren't there already too many channels? Or with podcasts as well, aren't there already too many podcasts? Like, yeah, who, who is going to listen to my podcast? Who's going to watch my videos? Who's going to enroll in my course? It's by far not too late to create an online course. Like, there is still so much growth happening in that space in online courses like it's growing every year more and more more and more people are looking for online courses 
um, these platforms are only getting better and better at actually helping you to create online courses. So more and more people are actually interested in taking courses online. And also, uh, sure, there might be quite a lot of courses on a specific topic, you know, that you want to create something on, but there is never going to be an exact same course like yours on that topic because you are the unique thing in your course that no other course will have, <laughs> right? My biggest tip actually with, with online courses, if you're thinking of, yeah, if, if it's a topic that, that there's a lot of courses in it, follow a couple of those courses and just look at what's lacking in them and try to resolve that in your course and see also what you can add to that course that is more unique. And you can do that by many things, right? By adding more humor, more creativity, or just your own personality. Those are all things that will make your course unique. All right, that's, uh, yeah, some of the most often asked questions around courses that I've received over these last few years. And finally, you know, if you are truly interested in creating an online course, I have, in fact, created a course on how to create an online course. If you liked anything what I've shared here in this video, and if you just feel like, yeah, that could be a person who could teach me even more on this topic, check out the course, right? You don't have to take it from me. It's been sold uh, thousands of times. Um, many, many people have written five-star reviews and a lot of positive reviews I've re received from that course. And it's basically where I, in, in a four hour and 30 minute course, put all my knowledge in from six years of creating online courses. It goes from finding a good course topic to writing out the course, to the equipment, to editing the course, to marketing it and promoting the course. Uh, everything is in that course. Uh, just check out the uh, description uh, down below. I will put a link there uh, to the course and there you can actually read the course description and also check out the reviews from actual students who've taken it. Plus as well, my dog is actually in the course. <laughs> so, I mean, how could that not be a good course then, right? You don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you can find the link to the course in the description of this video. I want to end by just saying that in the end, the biggest thing about online course creation, creating your online course is getting just starting, right? Apply what you've learned already here, allocate a couple of, of minutes, half an hour every day to, to already think about what you want to create and to write it out already. And if you then even want to learn way more, then take the course that I've created on online course creation. And I can promise you it will become so much more manageable because I do know my first course that I've created like six years ago, how overwhelming it was. And my goal with this course on creating an online course is also to make it manageable and, and way more easier for you do not have to figure out everything. If you have any other questions about course creation or about the course that I uh, just offered to you, then uh, you can always leave a comment down below in the comment section. I always try to answer every comment that I receive. I hope you gained something from this video and I hope I can welcome you on another one.